Hi everyone! I'm so so mad at myself. I just found out today as I was trying to edit my Inktober, my first Inktober video uh, that shows the last five days. Um, I found out that the files are gone. I deleted them. I don't know what happened, but they're all gone. I even tried a, um, a software to try to uh, get them back, but it didn't work, so I'm so mad. Although I suspect that maybe my cat Sunshine, who was unhappy that I was just drawing my cat Holly, uh, maybe she did that. Who knows? Anyway, so this is what uh, I'm just going to show you what I did. And sorry, I, I won't be able to show you my inking, but that's all I got for you today. Um, I did the sketches with the Prismacolor Color Race. And if I remember correctly, I used um, these four. Um, I really like this one, the Kuretake. Uh, I think it's a food or something. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it's a, it's a plastic tip, but it's really flexible. It's really nice. I like it, and you can make very very thin lines, uh, very detailed. It's very easy to control compared to, let's say, the Copic um, Gaz and Food, Gaz and, Gaz and Food, eh? Gaz and Food, I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyway, this has actual real bristles, um, uh, here, I don't know if you can see, oh, I'll, I'll get my finger dirty, but, see the real bristles, it's really cool, um, but, to me, the problem with this tip is that it's very, very pointy and there's like um, hairs. Maybe I should just trim it, but there's hairs that stick out. So sometimes I end up going over the lines and it doesn't work as well, but it's great to um, color in uh, bigger areas. So I use this mostly for, for to color in bigger areas. Um, I used a Prismacolor Premier uh, brush. This one is a felt tip and um, it's it's nice. It's really nice. I like it. Uh, th this one is easy to use and uh, this I just can't remember the brand and it's never written in English or rarely so sorry but I really like that one too. Felt tip and it has a, um, a plastic tip in the end for fine details. So anyway, I used all these for the first few days. And I'll show you what I did, if I can find it. Here, this is my five first Inktober uh, challenges. First day was swift. Let me zoom in so you can see better. So as I mentioned in my previous video, um, I just wanted to uh, draw cartoons of my cat Holly because I wanted it to be quick and um, go back to the basics. So I really just inked it. So I sketched my cat um, with the, uh, the day um, prompt. And then, um, and then I inked it, and that's it. I used, I kind of cheated, but I don't think it's cheated really. But I used um, the color race pencil also to add a touch of color because she's black and white, but she's got pink nose and ears and little uh, pads under her paws. So I thought it was cute like that. Anyway, Swift. She doesn't do it. She's pretty nice. She usually doesn't get in trouble. But I, I know that a lot of cats like to just with their paw um, uh, push a tip over the glasses, especially if they're full of a liquid and make a big mess. So that was my idea. Second day was divided. Um, shows that she really can decide between uh, fish or chicken, which one she likes best. 
third is poison so um, yeah she's uh, a bit silly she likes to go smell shoes even my son's uh, running shoes that really really smell bad um, my kids actually thought this was not exact so they had me redo it so let me find the other one that I did to show you so yeah because they told me you know mom that she actually puts our whole head inside the shoes so that's what I had to do and I like this one better so anyway this one was poison um, then number four was underwater we don't have a fish so I made this one up uh, but she's very playful and she likes to um, she's attracted by everything that moves so if we had a fish I'm sure she'd do something like this and today's word is long and I thought about her when she sleeps she often stretches either on her belly or her back uh, she stretches as hard as she can and she shows how long she is so anyway that's all for now um, again sorry for um, messing up this first Inktober video hopefully I won't for next one and as you see I do five per page so uh, I should have a video um, in in five days or six days no five days anyway um, showing the f the next five challenges anyway that's it have a great day happy inktober and i'll see you soon bye